Hey everyone, how are you today? My name is Owen Fox. I work as a spiritual life coach of body, mind and spirit. Working with health, herbs, but especially also the integrating the physical and the spiritual together as a grounded, empowered, living person. All chakras together. Um, body, mind, spirit, emotions, healing from the past. Getting super healthy, strong, vibrant in all areas of life. Radiant, healthy, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful on the inside and the outside. I've written two books and I have a herb shop in case you're interested in herbs which can greatly help and assist all physical conditions including also very much assist mental and emotional conditions too especially the physical but to definitely aid raise your vibration so it translates very strongly into the emotional and spiritual so in this video I just want to first of all welcome you and show my gratitude and love and appreciation for you joining me today so I hope you're really really well today yeah I do do that I do feel that so I got a message and I just thought I'd make a video instead of commenting because sometimes they're big questions and they, they can't take ages to type one question, one answer. <laughs> so the question is, I've never tried a raw food. This is from Mark, by the way. Hi Mark, thanks for your comments. So it's great that you're watching this now if you are. And this, I don't, this is one of my first times I've actually made a video reply. Um, so I'd like to try, I like, this is the first time I've, I've never tried raw diet on. I'd like to try it for a week. Melons and berries are what Dr. Moore seems to advocate. Would you suggest I just mix it up and decide what I want to eat? Um, Fruit-wise or mixed with salads? I have a small allotment too with beets and cucumbers. <laughs> Alright, cool. Thanks for the question. So, um, Our relationship with food, this is the most important thing, our relationship with food is an emotional, psychological, and mental, and energetical thing. It's not isolated. It's not something, oh, I think I'm going to eat that today. Or I'm just going to eat, totally change my diet. It's, an, it's like life. It's an integration and a journey that takes time, and it's progressive. It's like almost exercising. You don't just suddenly run a marathon. You have to train gradually. When it comes to diet, training, the training to the optimal, more like lighter, healthier, cleaner, more higher vibrational and higher vibrational energetically diet, it takes, in, in generally, one, people have to generally heal. That's the training. The training is to heal, to balance and heal and open and your chakras to close some that are maybe too big but that's I don't know if that's generally a big idea most people have blocks and, and blockages and small chakras that aren't sometimes working pro perfectly or properly okay um, this like each chakra translates to loads of stuff in life so basically speaking you have to heal yourself and heal your life so the more that in another way I can say this is the more happier and fulfilled and peaceful you are in life the less baggage you have the less negativity, less literal negative energy, the more easy it will be to naturally, effortlessly, effortlessly is a word now you want to remember, and harmoniously, and enjoyably. So effortlessly and enjoyably, easily. All this stuff, this is the way your diet should optimally be, in my opinion. If, if it's the healthiest and easiest type of way to go about it. Otherwise, Many people force, strain, and push diet changes prematurely. They're not re like psychologically ready. They have attachments to food and addictions to food from the past, from their childhood. And even now they're addicted to food too, because every substance we put in our body has a possible addictive reaction. Most of the food we're told that is healthy on the news is absolutely unhealthy and they tell you this to keep us sick, tired, die early. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, I know it's sad on one level and on another level, higher, a bit of a spiritual more level, it's a bit sort of comical that this stuff is going on and we need we if we want to need to get informed about it and then take action resultingly. <laughs> So it's a bit like a game we're playing and what's essential is knowledge and information. So that's what awakening largely is. Simply, basically, can you imagine the simplicity of getting informed and getting educated about the truth, what's really real 
and stop being blinded and having the wool pulled over your eyes by the lies. <laughs> okay, so awakening more, um, healing more, getting informed more. I would recommend gradual diet changes and I would recommend very strongly eat whatever you want to eat without any judgment. Treat yourself like a, lo a loving little baby, like your child. Don't be giving out to them or yourself if they're trying to change their diet and they're finding it difficult and they want to eat meat again or have coffee or drink a s s drink or have a smoke or have dairy. All these are addictive guys. Cocaine is too. It's probably more... Hmm, some people would argue it's not as, as much addictive. Maybe cocaine is more addictive. But a lot of these food items are very, very addictive. S cooked starches, cooked like potatoes, rice, root vegetables. They are very addictive. And th I hope that doesn't... Sound, that I don't really give a shit actually if that sounds alarming. This is like the truth. In my opinion, it's the truth. A lot of these carbohydrates have been altered, especially the white potato and rice. White rice especially, but even probably any rice is addictive too. It's... They congest... Um, and they they clog unnaturally and they're, they're not a human food really they're like a survival food if you're starving <laughs> they're not a human designed body water vehicle food <laughs> so let's try to give them up guys if you feel like it and see how much you crave them so that's if you feel like it now not, remember I've no judgment and you don't have a judgment or a condemnation <laughs> or a heaviness on your child or yourself. So go back to eating the fish if you really, really want it. What I say is you really need to get that stuff out of your system. You need to get stuff out of your system not by forcing yourself in a mad, stressful struggle where your life is like all about food and then people are developing eating disorders and a very, like, very, a very, very traumatic and negative, like, uptight, tense and f worried relationship with food. Lots of these raw foodists or vegans out there on YouTube are teaching this eating disorders. They have a lot of negative energy, they aren't on the spiritual path yet and and they are te they're, they're transmitting and advocating like a negative energy and eating disorders basically speaking like I know a lot of them can help and they do but there's also a lot of mixed like positive with a lot of negative. I just want to teach the positive so and I don't want to teach it like by being dogmatical by saying oh you have to stop eating meat or fish like you can't eat dairy it's like cruel the fact is a lot the fact is a lot of us are st stuck in habits and patterns based on fear and conditioning and habit and addiction added on top and we have a lot of mental emotional psychological healing to do and we have to combine all this as we're a combination of body mind spirit emotion we're you know, an energetic and electromagnetic and a water vehicle, a physical vehicle, a chemistry vehicle. We we are subject to the physical laws. So uh, my main 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 thing is be gentle, enjoy yourself, be easy going and easy on yourself. Don't be judgmental of yourself, and don't be judgmental of other people. Enjoy the journey guys, enjoy the journey, enjoy the journey Mark.